Hey Cross Park, I have a number of updates for you here in our weekly video. First, as you almost certainly know by now, we are meeting each week at RTS in the parking lot at 10.30 now. So join us at 10.30, not 9 a.m. A couple things to know about our time in the parking lot. We are trying to do some things for children's ministry and for families. So we have a kids club, which means potty trained three-year-olds through first graders can go and have some content for them during the sermon. It's great for them because it engages them in a different way, and hopefully it is great for parents as well, so they can focus a bit more on the sermon. In the same vein, although we don't have true nursery classes right now, we are offering what we're calling a toddler relief program, where we will try to match parents who have people who are too young to go to kids club, try to match those kids up with a responsible person who can take care of them during the sermon. So the way this works is if you are a parent interested in having a kid participate in that, or if you are a Cross Park member who would like to help watch a kid so that a parent can focus on the sermon on any given week, either of you should email Katie Janak, nursery at crossparkchurch.org. And Katie's trying to connect parents with people who can watch these young children. We're also continuing to be engaged in some ministry and mercy opportunities at Smithfield Elementary. Even though we're not meeting there currently, we are trying to continue to uh, show grace and love to that school community. And so we have an opportunity for a food drive. We have participated in these in the past. Particularly, this is a way for them to send home non-perishable items with kids for the weekend who may not have lots of food opportunities typically. So... The first three Sundays of October, you can bring canned food and other non-perishable items. We have a list. It's out in the email. A couple of things that we need the most are things like applesauce cups, canned vegetables, um, fruit cups, oatmeal packets, popcorn, ramen noodles, etc. We'll be collecting these at the 1030 service, uh, October 3rd, 10th, and 17th, the first three Sundays of October. So please bring those. You can check your email for more details. If you want to participate in the food drive and just get some food directly to Erin, our administrator, you can email her at crossparkchurch at crossparkchurch.org and connect with her. Finally, some of you were with us this last Sunday and you heard we have an announcement. The announcement is that Jordan Olszewski, our associate pastor, is the lead candidate for the senior position, senior pastor position at Uptown Church. Uptown is our mother church. They planted us almost 11 years ago, and they have been without a senior pastor for the last two years. And so through a long process, Uptown has identified Jordan as their lead candidate, which means though it's not a done deal, it's very likely that Jordan will end up at Uptown. So this is a big deal. It's a big announcement. It's big in many ways. I mean, Jordan has been with us since before we started. So on our end, it, it's sad relationally for the Olszewskis to be moving on. It's also exciting for them to be called to this new opportunity to uh, really give their lives in new leadership, in new ministry at Uptown in a new way. So we're excited for them, sad for us, but we want to ask you to pray for this process. As I said, it's not 100% a done deal, though it is extremely likely, but pray for the process over the next few weeks that everyone will get this figured out really well. Jordan is going to go over on October 3rd and candidate, and then they will decide whether to officially extend him the offer or not. So pray for the Olszewskis, pray for Uptown Church, the church that we love and that has been very good to us, and pray for Cross Park as well. Anytime uh, significant people who have been a part of our ministry for a long time, who've been core people, whenever someone like that leaves, it is a big deal. So pray for us, for our hearts during the transition. Well, thanks for listening today. I hope these updates were helpful to you, and we will see you Sunday morning. Take care.